welcome back to the channel now a number of people have been asking me especially those from my local community about how to use gutenberg which is uh, the new wordpress editor um since moving away from what the classic editor is uh of course it solves uh, a bit of issues here and there and gutenberg also has its own problems uh, that i really don't want to get into However, for someone who is going to create very simple content and they don't mind how it's stored or the technical jargon behind it, um, Gutenberg seems to solve so many problems for those people. So what I'm going to do to, uh, is, is just to log in here and then just share with you a few of the fundamentals of how you can get into um, WordPress and open up Gutenberg, which is the new editor and how to use it now you'll find that currently or before we had uh, an editor of sort that allowed us to do different information and have our content in what we know that is known as a classic editor and it really left a gap in terms of our uh, end user styling of components of styling their content so there's a lot that was left in uh, for you to actually do now, with the new Gutenberg editor, you'll see that the whole interface changes here and it becomes something like this. Uh, you're seeing a lot more white. You're seeing a lot of icons here that show you a number of things. So, for example, you're able to edit uh, the different blocks that do come up. You're able to see uh, the hierarchy of the different blocks that you do have and how they turn up. So you can click on one and actually move below. Uh, let's say you can actually find out more information on what's happening in your post. You can find out the number of words that I use, the headings, the paragraphs, the different blocks that are available for you. Uh, and then you're able to undo any of the changes you make or redo them if you undid them. And you're able to add other blocks by clicking this simple button here atop of uh, the, the post. So right now we have a, a demo content page here, which is a hello world, uh, which comes by default with WordPress or classic press. And when you click it, when you click to edit it, um, it opens up a new page. And essentially it comes with this whole new editor that you're seeing here. It has all the default things. This would be the title. And we see the permalink is already up here as it used to be in the old pages. And then we have the content that streams down here. Now, as I tap on the, on the editor here, I'm just going to browse through how you can figure your way around the whole uh, interface that's coming. Because usually that's the challenge. When you get to uh, acquaint yourself with the, cha with the interface of any software that you come across that is new, then you're able to figure out most of those other things, the small details that do come up. Right now we have our title here. When I click on the title, if you look here in the right hand panel, you'll see that we have uh, the document tab is the one that's highlighted. And as I click in the content here, we see that the block uh, navigation tab is the one that's click clicked and it's the one that gives us the different options that we do have here. The concept of Gutenberg is that it works with different blocks. For example, you have things like headings, lists, quotes, verses, preformatted text, groups, and a number of other blocks. And we're going to look at each one individually and how you can use it. But before we dive into the different blocks, let's look at uh, what the document provides us. Now, in the interface here, we're able to see the permalink and we can change what it looks like. So Quickly, let's say I wanted to add a 2, 3 on it. You see that uh, we now our post is going to change its link. And if we come here, we're also able to see that it's now 2, 3 and it doesn't have the whole hello world. So we can remove even the hello and just have hello 23. And when we click that, we are able to see that our permalink is changed. Of course, you have to hit the update button here to update the, 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 the post itself. Uh, before these changes can be effected in your database. Of course, we have the options to see whether the post should be public or private or password protected. We can change the date as we used to in the old editor. 
and you're able to even delete this without first going into the all post then delete you can just click move to trash uh, you can change the permalink we can see the categories here we can add new categories uh, for example i could say this is in a demo content by just clicking in there and then say this is demo content and then when i hit enter this is a new category we've added so i can do that uh, the tags also equally work the same so we can have this as part of demo so we add a demo tag to it so we can set a featured image uh, for either from our media library or we can even click to upload and you can upload any kind of uh, let's say we're going to upload wordpress and we can add it there and choose that's going to be our featured image select it add it to our post then we can add an excerpt maybe something that is short and say lorem ipsum is good and that is our excerpt that we'll have on the different pages that we display the excerpt and we can allow for discussions to be shown like comments and pingbacks and we can even change the post attribute let's say we had a uh, different template so we could change this to a full width uh, template and we are coming with this from uh, the 2020 theme that comes by default with wordpress so right now i'm using wordpress 5.3 so you're able to see um, if you go to the appearance and you go under themes you will see that the theme that is uh, activated for me is the 2020 theme that comes by default with wordpress and this comes when it's gutenberg ready you also have 2019 that is also gutenberg ready it will work simply and neatly with the new editor so i hope you take this journey with me uh, in an excited form uh, ready to learn ready to see the positives of the block editor and to enjoy good and bug yourself so thank you for tuning in please keep your eyes open your ears filled and enjoy yourself if you like the content that's coming from this channel i usually share, share videos that just uh, exhibit some of the pain points that i do have either in development or servicing my clients and i post the solutions that i do get right on this particular channel so that other people can learn and can be able to share with others about the same challenges and the different solutions that are available so thank you for watching please leave a comment uh, please leave a like if the videos are helpful for you and let me know what you would like to see and what you'd like to learn in the upcoming uh, videos that are, will be released so enjoy yourself and happy coding so what i'm going to